Hello flute players. Today we're going to go over your first flute lesson. You will need your case and uh, we're going to open it the right way, learn how to open it and learn how to make sound on one piece of the flute. Okay, here we go. I have my homework paper that was from your folder. Um, you can also see that paper at the bottom of my video if you'd like to use it for your own teaching. So we're gonna get ready. Um, we wanna make sure that we open our case the right way, okay? Especially for flute. If you open your case upside down, all the pieces can come tumbling out and there's a possibility that they could break. Um, so we wanna take care of our flute and always open it the right way. So what we're looking for is, if you look at your case, you wanna see a label and you have the latches. So I want the latches facing me and I want the label facing up. Okay, so I've got the latches facing me, label facing up. Now I'm gonna put it on the floor. I've seen many flute players, especially in elementary school, opening their cases on their lap, and your laps just aren't big enough, and sometimes your case just falls to the ground and the whole flute tumbles down with it. Um, so I'm gonna put it on the floor. I'm gonna undo my latches. And I'm going to grab the head joint. Okay, that's the one with the hole and no keys on it. Okay, so this is called our head joint. If you wanna close up your case again, you can, um, but we are gonna put your head joint back in at the end. So um, this is all we're gonna be using today, okay? So we wanna sit up nice and tall, put our feet on the floor, and as a quick reminder for flute, some of us are gonna get sound instantly, and some of us, it's gonna take us some time. It took me some time to learn how to get a sound on the flute. Um, I couldn't get it all through my classes in college and everything, and it wasn't until I was actually teaching the flute and I had to really sit and learn how to do it um, that I figured it out. So for some of us, it's harder, and some of us, it's easier, and you just gotta keep working and do your best, okay? The sound doesn't really matter yet. We're all just trying to find that, that sound for each of us. So. Um, as a quick reminder, my video has been reversed, so you're gonna just match me, okay? So, we put our head joint up, and we wanna see the whole of our head joint, it goes right on the center of our lips. I give it a little kiss, and then roll down out, okay? So that the hole is kinda sitting, you could even see it, but I can still feel it on my bottom lip, okay? And then my flute is going out to the right, okay? So we wanna blow over the flute, um, but a little bit down. So I put my hand about here, and I'm gonna blow to my hand. We get, we get this high sound. Now yours might not last as long as mine, and might not be as clear as mine, but if you're getting any sound, that is success, okay? If you're not quite getting it, adjust a little bit. Roll in a tiny bit, move your to the side a little bit, make sure you're really in the center. Sometimes a, a mirror helps. I can kind of see in my video. There, I'm in the center. Okay, let's do it again. Here we go, ready? Blow. We wanna do a long, smooth sound. We're not going You're really gonna feel a little bit dizzy and crazy if you do that. So a nice, long, smooth sound. Let's do another one. So find the hole, put it on the center of your lips, give a little kiss, roll forward. Okay, roll out. Here we go, let's blow again. One, two, ready, go. If you're having trouble centering this head joint, then hold it with two hands on the very end with your fingertips. Find that hole, roll forward, blow again. One, two, ready, blow out. That sound for me was a little fuzzy. I'm gonna try it again. One, two, I adjust it a little, ready, blow. So a lot of our beginning flute comes from just playing on the head joint. If you can get a great sound on your head joint, you're going to have a lot more luck of getting a good sound on your flute when we put the whole thing together. It just gets harder when we put it together. So if you're having trouble here, you're gonna definitely have trouble when it's all, all put together. So we wanna get as good as we can on the head joint and then we'll move forward. So in the box of things to try on your paper, it says play 10 long, smooth sounds. We've probably done seven, okay? So let's do three more, here we go. One, two, long, smooth sound, go. Let's do another one. One, two, adjust if you need to. Ready, go. If it's not working, take it off, kiss and roll down. Maybe roll a little more in, just a tiny bit. Little adjustments go very far on the flute. One, two, last, long sound, go. All right, 
I'm gonna play a pattern and I'd like you to repeat it after me. Here I go, me first. Ready, go. Go. Now me. Me. Great, okay, if you're getting a sound, awesome, amazing. If you're not, keep going, keep trying. The more you do this, the better chance you have of finding your sound, okay? All right, next, we're going to find a new sound. Sometimes people find this easier, sometimes people find it harder. So we're going to cover up the end, open end of the head joint with our flat hand, okay? Make sure it's nice and flat so that you really cover it up. Find that spot again, and you're gonna blow a little softer, okay? You don't have to blow too hard, one, Two, nice and soft, go. Mmm, nice little sound. If I overblow, if I use too much air, it's gonna sound like this. That's too much air, okay? So if you're getting that sound, slow it down, relax, try it a little softer. Here we go, let's do it again. Nice, soft air. One, two, nice and smooth, go. Let's do a couple patterns just like that. Me first. Go. My turn. Now, you may love this sound. You may be more successful with this sound, but we need to do both, and we do need to spend even more time with it open, okay? So we're gonna go on to the next part ta and tt patterns so if you look at that on the paper try playing through these patterns first say it out loud and then play it on your head joint so let's say the first one together ready go ta ta ti ti ta that one should be very familiar to you let's play it without our hand on the end holding our head joint you can try your sound go ahead here we go one two first pattern go Now let's say the next one. So the next one down starts with TT. Ready, go. T, 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 ta, ta. Let's play it on the head joint. Here we go, start fast. One, two, start quick and go. All right, let's do the third one. The third one has a rest. Ta, ta, rest, ta. Here we go. One, Two, ready, go. Rest. All right. This should not be a super long practice session. It's to just practice finding your sound and working on a couple patterns and getting comfortable with consistently finding that same spot on our head joint. Okay, again and again and again. So your goal is to play five to seven times this week, trying long notes, high and low sounds, and the patterns. Okay, if you've done that, that is your practicing. Five to seven times this week, and then at the bottom of your paper, you wanna get it signed by your parents. That says, yes, we know they practiced, or yes, we know they didn't practice. But if you're watching this video, you practiced, okay? Um, all right, so make sure you bring this to your, last, your next lesson. I'll see you next week. Good luck finding your sound on the flute, and remember that it takes some of us longer than others, and you will get it, okay? Keep trying. Have a good week.